Kevin, an important game in many ways against North Ferriby, the bottom club. What was your assessment of it? I mean, we created enough chances, particularly the last half an hour, to, to win the game and win it comfortably. So, um, obviously, a lot of frustration and disappointment with the result in the end. Still, obviously, lucky for my first win, but more importantly, the, the, the group of players we feel need need a win just to give them that boost and stuff. So, um, yeah, obviously, disappointed to concede two goals. I've only scored seven um, all season. So, lots of things for us to, to challenge. We missed lots of challenges, uh, lots of chances during the game. But, you know, we looked a little bit fragile at times at the back as well. So, it's something that. I need to address and my staff needs to address. I mean, listen, we, we know it's a big job to try and turn things around and we're working extremely hard to, to do that. Um, you know, we made one or two additions to the squad to try and add some strength to the squad. Um, it's been two and a half weeks, we're working hard to try and make things better, but there's no doubt about it, we could have done with a win today. In terms of going for the win, um, you obviously lacked that cutting edge really. Was that the main thing missing or do you think there was anything else? Just the finishing, yeah. I mean, we created three, four, five really guilt edge chances and, um, you know, there was certainly no fingers pointing, we'll, you know, we'll work on things next week, what we feel we have to. Um, it, our first couple of weeks is trying to just lay down a little bit of structure in the terms of the style we want to play. We changed it a little bit today. Um, we felt we, the first couple of games we just wanted to try and shore things up a little bit and, and steady the ship and we felt we did that with the two results. You know, close to getting the win here in, in my first game so we just feel like we're dropping points at the moment which could, could make all the difference to us in terms of the confidence really. So. Uh, yeah, disappointed not to get the win, and uh, it's an opportunity certainly missed by the lads. Yeah. You brought in Josh Hine in the week, maybe a little bit isolated in the first half. How did you kind of change things as the match went on? Yeah, I thought he did okay. I think um, we realised we were lacking a bit of height and stuff, and you know, he's not played for a couple of weeks, but he looked sharp, and I think uh, overall he did okay. I think he looked, looked a threat, and he's just trying to find his feet a little bit. Um, we just felt we needed to, to change it a little bit, and I thought the, the lads that came on, you know, made a, a real impact in the game. Came and did really well, looked lively. Bradley, uh, Jackson, Jordan, obviously scored his first, first goal for us as well. So there was lots of positives to take from it. But we, I feel, we're a little bit nice at times, and we need to just be a little bit more ruthless. And it, you know, everybody knows it in there. There were certainly no fingers pointed. We created enough chances, and the, you know, we've not created a, a number of chances in the previous two games. So we. We changed it to be more positive today and you know it should have been enough to win the game but unfortunately it wasn't enough. You mentioned the chances created and two good finishes from Steve Schumacher and Jordan Hallam. Yeah I think we needed the goal. Um, you know it sort of knocked us a bit when they when they scored from another set piece. Again something we need to, to, to address and, and work on. Um, but we needed the goal from Shuey. Obviously back in the team is an important player for us. Um, so we can get him up to full speed, full fitness. He's, he can, he's going to be vital for us. A great finish from him. And again, I thought Jordan looked lively and stuff, and very good on the ball. And you know, attacking wise, we were okay. I think there's still plenty to work on in terms of our uh, belief in going forward. You know, the, the full-backs getting forward and, and the quality of balls into, into the box at times. But um, you know, there's, there's plenty to take away from the game as much as we're disappointed. And I said to the boys in there, we, we go again. We have another good week's training, and we, we go to Curzon in search of that first win under myself. You've brought in David Lynch, that's been announced this evening. What's he going to bring to the squad? Oh, well, he's a winner. I think his, his attitude will uh, bring the best out of players in and around him. Uh, very impressed by speaking to him. I know, I know people that know him very well. I've spoken to a number of managers at this level and above. They would love to have him, so I think it's a bit of a, a coup for us to, to bring him in, really. He's, uh, he's excited, he's, he's desperate to get out there and play, and he adds competition in that midfield area and a bit of steel and a bit of know how. And um, I'm, I'm delighted to have got him, really. Yeah, just finally, you mentioned Curzon. Next Saturday, you've got the week's training. What do you plan on working on in particular, and how do you see that challenge? Well, listen, we, it's a chance for me to watch the game back and, and sit down with my staff. We, you know, we'll, we'll address that as and when. Um, and you know, the players have been asked to, to get involved in it as well. We, we we're asking them to say what they want and how they feel. And it, at the moment, it's trying to get the right balance with what some of the boys are doing in terms of work and getting the right balance and, and the tempo in terms of what they're training they're getting a minute. And that's something that we're, we're working really hard on. Um, you know, I'm trying to find out more about the players and their commitments and stuff and how we can manage them particularly maybe one or two a little bit better in terms of being fresh on a Saturday that's what it's all about so I'm still really getting to know the players and the group as a whole and uh, we're confident that we can put the processes and, and the structure in place that we you know everybody's fresh everybody's challenging and we're building a good squad to to hopefully you know get up the league this year and obviously for, for next year as well so there's plenty of hard work going on behind the scenes I know there's a bit of disappointment and frustration around the place we we're all desperate to get that win no, no one more more than me um, but we have to keep working hard as a group and you know I'm confident that things will, will change. Okay, cheers Kevin. Alright. Thank you. Thank you.